you've been thinking about moving, but you're not sure where you're gonna move to, in this video, I'm gonna go over ways you can protect yourself in this market, selling, also protecting yourself with where you're looking to buy. If you haven't already, please like, hit that like button down there and subscribe to the video and to my channel to make sure you don't miss out on future videos on what it's like to live here in Kelowna. We're gonna go over the stats here in this video from the month of February. It's been crazy. Everybody's been hearing about it, but there's also uh, little hits and misses in the marketplace where maybe you can even take advantage of it. You know, if you're looking at downsize right now, it would probably be a great opportunity to take advantage of the current marketplace and, and the direction that it's going. We're up about 1% uh, month over month, so it is increasing there and um, you know probably up 15% uh, since last summer. So it's just been an insane amount. And right now in February, there's two uh, just about 2.4 times the amount of sales this February as where it was last February. So it's just a hot market overall. Lots of action there, the low inventory. We're about half the amount of listings out there currently. So two and a half times just about the amount of sales and half the amount of listings. So that's a crazy amount of activity and a lot of the listings currently out there or that were out there for a little while are getting eaten up and the days on market are coming down. Now we're starting to see the days on market, the median days on market, we're under 30 days uh, for single family homes on the marketplace. So things are happening fast. Well, last week we had uh, a situation where it had clients that are looking for a property came up in the perfect neighborhood is the perfect style house and it was exactly what they were looking for we went in there uh, just with a virtual tour just uh, just doing a zoom call over the phone so we do those and what we did is they ended up wanting to make an offer on it and it listed on Friday and we got in listed on Thursday and we got in there on Friday morning at 10 a.m. and we went and saw the place they absolutely loved it it was exactly what they were looking for and we made a fairly strong offer on the property uh, on that Friday but uh, we or we the price was actually three percent over the ask price so another twenty five thousand dollars over the ask price and this is the first day on market um, that we, we had made that offer but they had said as we're seeing a lot of homes right now in the marketplace they're only looking at offers on specific days so it's almost like a bid everybody uh, just to give people the option because it is a fast moving market not a whole lot of inventory uh, respectfully I mean they they respectfully wanted to wait till Monday which we totally understand and completely understood it um, but what happened is their bargaining power actually went down from our point of view because they Monday came and the time that they were gonna look at offers, it was at noon and there's no other offers. Our offer had already expired for the $25,000 over ask price. Uh, it expired on that Friday, but you know, they, there's no other offers. And, and we, we were the only ones that had previously made the offer. And what we did, um, you know, right before that 12 o'clock, right where they're gonna be looking at offers, is we, we then submitted a new offer, a revised offer, and in this one was actually just, it, we gave them list, just $1,000 over list price, but it was essentially list price and they lost $24,000 just for waiting a weekend on it. Um, nobody else, there's a lot of showings on it. Uh, you know, to, we had an inspection there the other day. There's over 17 business cards there, which means they had over 17 showing. You never know what you're getting into, so it's always a risk reward. And uh, you know, as they say, a bird in the hand or two in the bush, you know, so sometimes you have to do that, but it's all about weighing the pros and cons. It's all about looking at the market and very well, we could have walked. Um, we didn't have to make an offer, but it was exactly what they wanted. But the one issue, if you are looking to sell, is where do you go? I mean, that's the common question I'm getting. You know, where do we go? Um, you know, and maybe it's not the market to sell in if you're looking to get an equivalent house. But maybe let's look at options where if you are looking to downsize, maybe it's a great opportunity where you can take advantage of the, the higher prices, the competitive market, especially if you have a single family home. If you're looking to downsize or maybe you're looking to rent out in the marketplace, uh, it could be a good opportunity. And this is ways we can protect you with this. You have to weigh your pros and cons with it. You know, everybody's situation is a little bit different. So the pros of doing one way over the other way may or may not work for you. 
and but it is just weighing whatever works for you and whatever the best options are so if you do have questions I mean reach out that's what I'm here for reach out if you know maybe a situation that might be able to you might be able to benefit from you can get protected with doing a subject to you finding a place so if if you can't find what's what's out there in the market you can still list your house in the spring market and any offers that you get can be subject to you finding a place uh, there's opportunities as well where you might be able to rent your home back for a little while and can, can give you the cash in your pocket and maybe rent it back for a little while and um, and benefit and then make your uh, next offer more appealing because then you do already have the cash in your pocket and there's also another option you can do an extended possession so you can um, a buyer could purchase your home today and but you could do an extended possession and, and make it uh, for late you know summer type of situation which give you time to either find a new place or find a rental uh, to move into or you know it, maybe if you're moving provinces maybe uh, if, if things have changed you know that's an opportunity and we like to really give as many opportunities to everybody as possible and everybody's situation is slightly different and so it may or may not make sense certain issues may or may not make sense to you that we're in and we're starting to see prices uh, still creeping up there are, the average sale price is, is approaching uh, a million we're about I think 939,000 uh, for the month of February so the the average home prices are increasing and it's a good time right now if you have thought about it um, to to potentially sell you maybe you're looking for a home in the marketplace but you just can't find what you're looking to you can do a subject to sale because it is a seller's market right now and the sellers really hold a lot of the cards uh, when it comes to negotiation so you can negotiate you uh, the option to be able to find yourself a home and when you're looking at to find yourself a home you can have up to you know three months potentially maybe a couple months to be able to find it depending on the type of buyer and what they're looking for but just like anything everything's negotiable so it's not just price but we look at the terms and we also look at the conditions in these offers and, and really to, to make it as appealing you know if I'm a, representing a buyer I'm trying to make it as appealing to the sellers as possible maybe it's an option to rent back for a certain period of time because there is a, a low inventory out there and we know they're gonna have issues finding another place but maybe if I'm representing a seller then we're putting in that subject to you finding a place clause or we're really extending that possession period where it's really taking a lot of that pressure away from you price but we're looking at dates we're looking at finance and we are looking at we're starting to see deals fall apart on homes um, in that have uh, you know a financing or appraisals because the, the rate is going up so drastically and we aren't we are starting to see you know deals fall apart because appraisals are all based on historical numbers and if the people do not have um, you know enough cash on hand to put additional money down they maybe can't complete on that purchase because uh, the, the the funds just aren't there and they can't get the appraisal um, on it because it's the increasing such so rapidly you know an increase one percent this month over what sold last month you know it appraisers are really having a tough time really a pinpointing a value uh, for the banks that are looking to do it's just a reminder too if you are looking at the market I mean there's a lot of hype about the market I mean I just talked about how hot the market is and there's a lot of hype but there's certain pockets that maybe aren't as hot uh, and and you know a little bit you know and that's where you can take advantage of you know if you're looking to move into a condo or a townhouse from a single-family home I mean you can take advantage of you know a super hot market in the the single family home market and take advantage of a slightly slower it's still pretty hot market but it is a slightly slower so you can actually benefit that in those marketplaces because they're not as increasing as fast or as rapidly as the single family homes have